Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Nav Viking coffee mug tutorials. What I wanted to do today is uh, start going over the service management system in NAV. Most people don't know that there's a service management inside the NAV standard package, but there is. And, uh, um, you know, we're used to looking at inventory, warehouses, supply chain, manufacturing, things like that. Service management, however, usually sits outside systems, but in NAV, it's all integrated in there. Um, what I'm going to do now is uh, go ahead and create a service item and put that on a service order and post that service order. So it's uh, kind of the first thing uh, we go through in a service management system. So right here, I'm logged in as the customer service dispatcher and I'll see here service orders that are in process, that are finished, anything that's inactive, etc. If I go into service items and hit new, I'm gonna create something called um, coffee machine. And uh, I could connect this to an actual item that we use or sell, but I'm not going to do that in this case. I'm going to just pick a miscellaneous group for this item. And I'm going to say that the ser serial number for this is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 8. And it is at the Canon group. So I can state where this particular item is. I could then, of course, set up a warranty for parts or labor. Just going to ignore that. I'm going to pick Linda as the default resource. And that's it. Um, so now I created the coffee, um, coffee machine as a service item. And now I want to put that on a service order. I'm going to create new here. So the coffee machine broke at the Canon Group and they called us. They have no coffee and that is of course a major crisis. So we're going to go ahead and fix that or send somebody over to fix that. So the service order would be fix coffee machine. And the customer is the Canon Group. And for this, we actually need to specify which machine we are fixing. And that's a service item. So I'm going to go ahead and look that up. I actually got two here, but I'm going to pick this one. And uh, here you can state things like uh, if it's on a contract, if and also the fault and symptom and resolution. So you can have like a knowledge base. Um, if we send out a loaner, etc., etc. So there's a lot of things that could be specified on here. I'm going to zoom through that keep it to just the intro. Um, in order to log in uh, work and parts that we used on the service order, we go into the service item worksheet. If I go in here, I get a list where I can specify a resource and Linda is the one who worked on it. Uh, I can say that she went in there and fixed coffee machine. She spent two hours. And uh, just going through here. Um, everything that needs to be put in. So that looks okay. Again, we can go over uh, what the fault area is, symptom particular both on the header for in general or on the line for what was actually done. Um, there is a lot of things that connect to the service uh, system and it's pretty, it's pretty involved. It has a lot of things. I'm just going to leave it as that. And now I have completed the service order. And I want to just go ahead and post this. You just see this is tax liable. I want to take off the tax. And 
and hit post. Okay. The uh, it's tricky to get the taxes always right, so it doesn't want me to have the tax right here, and that's fine. Let's see. So what I'm doing right now is making sure that the tax does not interfere with my posting. And because I want this not to be taxable, which is fine. So I take that out, hit OK and post. And now it posts. Do you want to open the posted invoice? Yes. And if I take a look at this now, it actually posted the worksheet for the item. And now it has the labor in here and the number of hours used and how much. And this is of course just a normal posted invoice in NAV. So what we did, we used a service item that has a serial number and we put that on a service order. And then we posted and we put in the uh, number of hours we used and we posted that and that created a invoice, an invoice. So if I go back here, for example, into the service items and uh, if I look for my coffee machine, I got two, but it's the second one. Uh, if I look at the service item lock, I can see everything that has happened. So we, it got created, we changed the serial number, etc., etc., which is good for a particular, um, similar to the change log entries. Now, if I go here into service ledger entries, I can also see that we posted an invoice uh, for Linda on this item, and these are the costs. So it starts tracking all of the financials for that particular item. And that was the extent that I wanted to go through on the service system. Uh, I might cover contracts and other things in later videos. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. As always, we welcome any questions or suggestions. Um, so leave comments or, of course, if you can subscribe, that would be awesome. Uh, we are trying to build our fan base over here at Enacta. And uh, if you want to look for further information, please go to inecta.com.